Hello, my name is Judson Green. I'm a PhD candidate and affiliated lecturer at the University of Cambridge teaching elementary New Testament Greek. Uh, maybe you're like me, you're teaching some ancient language and you like Daily Dose and you say, man, I wish I could have a setup like Daily Dose where I can have the text and I could interact with it and highlight it and mark it up. Well, today I want to show you a way that I've found uh, to do that in the classroom by using an iPad and Apple Pencil, and I just take my iPad to class and I plug it directly uh, into uh, Lightning Bolt to HDMI, so it goes right to the PowerPoint, uh, and where I can mark it up like Daily Dose. Now, I think the technology is slick, but the advantages are pedagogical. It's really nice for beginning students to be able to show them visually, hey, here's what I'm talking about. They're still working on pronunciation. Okay, this is the word I want you to parse. Uh, it's also nice because having my iPad in front of me, uh, my whiteboard is in front of me. So that way I can interact with the students. It helps the, the dialogue in class. Instead of having my back turned and my hand covering up what I'm trying to write, it's a lot easier for them to see. It also speeds up class time because I can just bring the text and put it in front of the students and start marking it up. I don't need to take time to write stuff out, which is really nice. Uh, and then also, instead of PowerPoint, because PowerPoint does take a lot of time, I find, to get it all set up. This is a really efficient way to prepare your classes. So the app I'm using is called GoodNotes. I'm not paid or sponsored by GoodNotes. Uh, it's free, so you can try it out. And then there's a $10 version that gives you unlimited cloud storage. So I prep my lessons on my computer, and then they're automatically synced uh, with my iPad. There's also a Microsoft Surface version in beta for PC users that you could use that as well. So let me show you how this looks. At its heart, GoodNotes is just a PDF markup. So I have uh, PDFs in here of class handouts or of our set text and things like that that I work through in class. Now what's nice is as I go through, there's the toolbar at the top that I can see, but when this is on PowerPoint, the students will see me zoom in, zoom out, they'll see the pages that I'm looking at, but they're not going to see any of this toolbar, which is really nice. The toolbar is also a lot easier to use than the one in PowerPoint, so I can choose uh, a pen and I can write down different things. There's also a highlighter tool, which it's kind of nice. It will smooth out and straighten out your highlighter, which is good. Um, and with the pen, if you were doing grids, you can just long hold and you can make straight lines, which is also convenient. Uh, there's an eraser. And then another nice and useful tool is this uh, PowerPoint laser pointer. And you can either do it as a laser pointer like this, or if I choose this setting, um, I can write something down. And as long as my uh, pen is touching the iPad, that writing will stay in place until I'm done with it. This is useful because you can highlight different things as you go without uh, cluttering your page too much depending on what you're talking about. You can also input text, so here I have a chart where I've mixed some pen with some text, and you can just drop in any writing that you want. When I'm teaching on Zoom, sometimes I'll use this feature, and instead of using my iPad, I'll use the app on my computer, and I'll just write text in Greek, and using my computer cursor, I can underline just to show people where I'm looking. Uh, or if you wanted to teach on Zoom and use your pencil, uh, what you can do is do sidecar and you can share your uh, iPad screen over Zoom. So this would be another way. I, I teach regular on Zoom. Maybe you do as well. It would be a useful way to kind of get some visual engagement um, through online teaching. I can also drop in photos uh, if I want to. So if I pull this photo here, for example, um, I can pull up some artifact here, uh, some Greek that says draw me with this old fish that was at the Fitzwilliam Museum in Cambridge um, and I can show my students um, that as well which can be it can be a nice addition. Another thing I could do is if I wanted to take this page and we went through this chart in class for example and I want to send it to my students afterwards it's really easy just to take a screenshot and I can send that along to students in an email. Another application that's useful is if you're uh, going through a set text, for example. Um, we can work through this together. I can ask students to parse it. And then, as you can see at the top, I've got these uh, different tabs 
to different documents that I switch back and forth. Again, the students won't see these, but I will. So I could go over, for example, to um, a chart that I made that works through the different parsing. They're trying to be able to recognize what are the features. I can zoom in real close, and this is what they'll see on the PowerPoint. They can see the distinctive features of uh, a given tense, for example. I could also go over to um, this tab, and here I have a PDF of my textbook. And we could look at the textbook together. That could be another useful feature. Uh, just giving you options that you can switch back and forth as needed in class instead of having a, a set thing you have to do, um, like a PowerPoint would, would kind of force you to a certain mold. Uh, I also have here quizzes. And what I did is just in Word, I made a bunch of quizzes where I showed both the questions uh, and the answers. And then what I can do is just take a screenshot here and uh, I can drop it in. And then I'll just crop it down to some of the white part. Okay, so I get some of the white part here, and I'll save that. And then I can just cover up the answers, and this can be their in-class quiz that they go through, and then I can reveal the answers one by one as we grade it. It's also nice if you want to drop in a photo with a chart or something like that, I'll just put it off to the side uh, until I need it, and I can pull information over that way in class as well. Um, as you can see at the top of my screen, I've got this little red dot because I'm doing this recording on my iPad. So you just need to enable screen recording. You can see that red button there. And then you can record your lecture and your students will see um, your visual markup as you go as well uh, in sync. Just make sure that uh, you look into this and make sure that audio recording is enabled as well. Uh, so that's a nice way if you have students who are sick or absent that you can send along the lecture so that they can see it. So it's very efficient uh, way to do this. I just have lecture handouts that I use um, that I mark up. And sometimes for my prep, what I'll do is I'll just write notes to myself of what I'm going to cover. And I might save a version with my notes, and that's what I'll look at. So I know, okay, here is the things I wanted to address. Um, but it's a really efficient way to prepare for class. Or if you're going through a set text, uh, you can just drop in uh, a PDF of the text and then you are all set to go to start parsing and translating. I hope this has been helpful to you as you think through how you might incorporate this into your pedagogy. This is a way, not the way, uh, but I found it really useful and very efficient on prep, which is nice. Thank you so much for watching and take care.